Hey everyone, Rascal here. And Mama, welcome to our podcast. Today we're covering the newest movie from Automatic Pictures, Early Man. This claymation comedy is about a tribe of cavemen, or early men, as their home is threatened to be destroyed by a bronze-crazed emperor. The only way to get it back? A soccer match, of course. And we got this along with uh, Fernand one day when you went to the Red Box. Yes. We had quite a few movies at that time that we hadn't seen or just recently been released on DVD. Right, and I had never heard of it. I think you told me about it. The same people who did Wallace and Gromit? Yeah, same they just... Studio? Or... Yeah, they just hadn't done anything in a while since that uh, Pirates movie. And that was like a few years back. And that was prior, uh, after the... the uh, was the studio yeah. burned down? Yeah. And they lost everything. That's one of the greatest movies ever. Wallace and Gromit. Right. <laughs> so... We decided to give this a try. Rascal said, get it. I said, okay. And we watched it, and we were very, very surprised. Mm -hmm. We knew it probably would be a nice movie based on the reputation of the studio. Mm -hmm. But it was much better than we thought. And it really reminded me a lot, of course, of um, Wallace and Gromit. The comedy, the humor, the writing, everything was still there, just as, as great as it was before. Right. And they usually do a lot of movies where they take place in different uh, time periods because, you know, Austin Grauman was in present day. Right. You know, Pirates was in present day. And this definitely was in present day. So I <laughs> guess they find their strong suit by doing all these movies, especially with Shaun the Sheep. You knew it right. was modern, but it wasn't present day. Right. And uh, they have these Another all, great outcomes. Movie. Yeah, all these different outcomes for all these different characters. It's a different movie. It never feels like you're watching the same thing twice. Right. Very true. So... Um, tell them a little bit about the storyline. Okay. Well, for this movie, apparently the cavemen invented soccer. <laughs> but they have, but for some reason, that I won't disclose here because of spoilers, uh, they had, after a certain point, they no longer played the sport. And then apparently, so, well, someone had to teach it still because these other people had it, so they weren't cavemen. Right. <laughs> so, uh, when they're hunting in their village one day, uh, they have the this emperor who just loves bronze, and he's voiced by Tom Hiddleston. <laughs> Didn't even recognize him until we looked at the end credits. Right. And uh, he wants to you know, tear down all the forts and go to sort of like environmental thing uh, so he can find more uh, bronze. And so where if you find silver and gold, you'd really be going crazy. Right. <laughs> now what was great, as you said about Tom Hiddleston, you know him as Loki from the Thor uh, franchise. Also, he's done movies like The War Horse and other great movies. And he's got this wonderful, uh, beautiful, wonderful voice. It's just, you know, you hear it and you know it's him. It's very soothing. You listen to him all day long speak. Or read like when he's um, done the documentary from the Lafayette Islands. This here, I did not recognize him. I was so floored when I found out it was him. So now, not only do I know he has range and uh, different roles, but also voice acting, which is a good place. Right. And it was surprisingly funny. There were a lot of times it was just hilarious. And they also have this different points in the movie where you have to send a message to the Queen of England because apparently they can't stand cavemen. <laughs> and there weren't a lot, but there was like, there were only the last few tribes left. So and they couldn't stand cavemen. And when they fought up, uh, challenge him to the soccer match and said, don't let the queen find out they'll just send her a message saying something else and they would have a messenger <laughs> pigeon and it would literally repeat everything it heard and saw and acted on it so you got you get it like when she was trying to like like when someone's trying to figure out how the computer works for the video chat it recorded everything that she was doing prior to is uh, going there and then and then when it finally started up it would it would uh, imitate the movements, it would thread, it would throw things at him because that's all she was doing at the bird. So it was doing it at him and making all the threats and speaking for her. And it was hilarious because it looked like they were supposed to hear the bird than the queen because he was the one doing it all. And it happened both ways and it would record. If he says something by accident, like he wasn't the one supposed to hear, it would record it and then it would go and tell him what he said. <laughs> so it was a true messenger pit, which was a great concept. And if I'm not mistaken, the point of the movie is that the cavemen had never won. Yeah, yeah. they invented the game and it was popular, but eventually got to a point where everyone was so good at it, they never won a game right. and they gave up playing it. Mm -hmm. 
So that was their um, their weakness. Because they thought, oh, it's hard. We, we play this. Our ancestors play like your ancestors too far back. You're still cavemen. <laughs> and uh, they were learning how to play the game again and getting used to it so they at least have a chance. And all the players they had from the Bronze Age, they were all hilariously just like exaggerated. They're supposed to be based off of actual soccer players. Right. The long hair. And they're so <laughs> perfect. And, and then now they're just all mismatched people. <laughs> And the game was was fun, exciting, hilarious. Of course, there were some miracle moves and everything, but it was really, really great. It was true to what's the name of the studio that does Wallace and Gromit? Yeah, Art of Man Pictures. Art of Man Pictures, duh. It was true to Art of Man's style and um, professionalism, and just giving you a great movie that is endearing, heartwarming, thought provoking, and fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just crosses the gambit. Right. So. And like you said, the comedy was really good. When like when they had to learn how to play soccer, they had all these different terms, and they thought they meant the actual literal terms. Like, no, that's not what it means. No, that's not what that means. Or they had to fight against the dinosaurs that were still left over. Oh, that was hilarious. And they hilarious. thought the duck was like this big, and it was like tw like 50 feet tall dinosaur. <laughs> Uh, when they had the game itself, you know, they kept messing up a little bit. Eventually, they got it, mm -hmm. and they would mess with the other players. When they would try to sneak and do things, they always had these just strange moments. It's like, it gives you a <laughs> second to realize what's going on. You're like, oh, gosh, did they really do that? <laughs> and there was also the village chief. The way he looked, you would have thought he was, like, maybe the oldest and the wisest. Right. Maybe, like, maybe in his 80s or something because of how they have it. He said, I can't play soccer. I'm an old man. I'm 32. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, wait, you're old. You're, you look like that at 32? What the heck? It's like, this is like a time paradox of him. Right. Like, what? How you look like that at 32? I guess he lived a hard kingly life. A hard <laughs> chief life. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but this movie was great. So if this is something that you haven't seen or haven't heard of, um, take a look on Wikipedia and learn about Artiman uh, Pictures. Learn about um, the other movies they have available, and we did mention four of them. Right now, and rent uh, or rent or watch on Netflix. Um, Shaun of the Sheep and Wallace and Gromit and, and that Pirates Band of Misfits. Right, and this early man, right. you won't be disappointed, and you'll have a new respect for claymation. Um, at one point, as you probably know, long back in the '70s, claymation was a uh, an early art form and it was you know for the time it was great but then when it got to the 80s um and to the 90s it was seen as a an outdated art form and people didn't want to use it this studio did wonders in bringing it back to the forefront and making it where people wanted to make claymation movies again right so cheers right <laughs> So yes, you gotta check out this movie if you can. It's really fun. You can watch it with your family. It's just something to really feel good and just laugh to your heart's content. Yes. So with that, I'm Asco Entertainment. And I'm Mom Entertainment. Have a fantastic day. Peace. And the water sitting, flashing lights. Trying to walk around, man. Who the hell are you? What you wanna do? My man is on you. In the mountaintops, rivers, and streams. Plucking sunlight from the sky in my pocket. Give it to you later on in the form.